Yo guys, what's up? It is Fatter Pilot here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Day of Infamy. Now before this video starts, I'd just like to thank WolfTech for essentially buying me this game, so you can blame this video on him. But no, this isn't really sponsored in any way, my gameplay, my opinion, whatever. Anyways, back on the Day of Infamy. I'm sure you've seen this, or a lot of people have seen this game already, but I wanted to do my video on it. And so, I think this is a really pretty fun game, honestly. And it was totally worth buying. The game mechanics were a little wonky to get used to at first, and more on this later. But they were relatively easy to learn, and I've learned that it's more of a laid-back, chill playstyle unlike Heroes and Generals. You're not necessarily supposed to focus on super fast-paced gameplay, and if you try to go fast-paced, you're probably going to get punished for it. The gunplay in this game is really interesting, and I found it to be quite fun after I got used to it. All the guns one shot at close range are just huge to get used to, especially if you're used to something like Heroes and Generals, where only one gun will one shot at range, and that's the rifle. But yeah, all guns one shot at close range, pretty much. And the damage drop-off does go, but it's not like where it's Heroes and Generals. I mean, you have your one-shot range, and then you have your two-shot range, and then you have your three-shot range. And that's pretty much all guns. Very few guns will go anything past three shots at most ranges. I mean, I've never really tested an SMG at 500 meters or something like that. But from my experience, it goes one shot to three shot. All of your guns do that. Something that I also liked is that the shotguns actually behave like they would in real life. You don't have to be 10 feet away from someone to one-shot them in this game. You can be, I'd say, a good 50 meters. You know, this is a pretty big thing because a lot of games would say that that is OP and super, super unbalanced, but in this game it actually isn't, and I believe that's just because of how the weapons are balanced in general. I actually like it. it honestly, for me, it comes down to more personal preference. I mean, submachine guns and shotguns kind of coexist, but they also are against each other in a way, so just depending on your playstyle and how you like to play, SMGs or shotguns might be better. I also like the maps. They had a great variety of maps and game modes combined. Multiple maps would have different game modes, different game modes would have multiple maps, and overall it was just fun to play. There was a lot of variety and I found that not one map would get boring, at least in my playtime, because if you got bored of that you could just switch it up. And overall I really didn't get bored of the whole selection, and there's three different general game modes I'm gonna say that you can play so if you get bored of just playing one you can switch to the other and play with different people. Now the gameplay you're seeing I did do the easiest one since I still am new and I kinda suck a lot but you get the idea. And it was a good mix up to have multiple game modes and maps unlike some games where Heroes and Generals where yeah you have multiple maps and the line switch but it's generally the same thing over and over. Now I wouldn't say this game is all good because every game has its flaws however the ones in this one weren't that big like they were little issues that you got used to after a little while playing. On an entry level perspective it was a little wonky considering the map size and overall speed and some of the game mechanics would allow for a fast paced snappy shooter, maybe something like Destiny along the lines of where you just run out and you shoot and you don't care if you take damage. But the guns did too much damage for that type of scenario so I had to learn that camping was actually something you did, sitting and waiting was something you did and it just happened to be a short close range engagement more or less. So that's not really a game breaking mechanic it's just something you have to wrap your head around. Now, getting TK'd and TK'ing happens a lot, especially when you're new. The only real difference is, I mean, yeah, you can see your players on your team. I mean, they do have some kind of recognition, but when you run into a room, the only real difference you're going to see is clothing color, like the general look. And so it is kind of hard considering some of the higher up Germans can have a camouflage that looks super light and almost kind of like your own. So you shoot them or you don't shoot them and they kill you. So honestly, player recognition is just something you have to learn. Now this isn't hard at all, I've already kind of learned this only having a couple hours in the game as well, so it's something really early that you can pick up. So the issues with the game are just something that happens early on, and eventually you'll learn it within the first couple of hours, so they're not really big issues. Overall, I've had a lot of fun with this game so far, and it's been interesting to have a change of scenery from a lot of the free-to-play games or other first-person shooter games out there. I've especially been enjoying it because it's replaced some of my Heroes and Generals time, so I've learned that I'm less salty and it's not... There's more variety and it's a better experience than just constant playing Heroes and Generals, so I'm not really missing losing my Heroes and Generals time at all. And if you're looking for a game in the future, or even right now, that doesn't really break the bank considering this game is pretty cheap, I would say Day of Infamy is a great game. And, I mean, while it does have a little bit of a learning curve, it's super easy to get used to and I've enjoyed it so much, so... I would really recommend this game, especially for anyone trying to get out of Heroes in general. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give your opinion on me playing this game or other games around this genre, please. I really need to work on trying to outsource of just Heroes in Generals because, again, I don't want my channel to die if the game does. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.